Hi, welcome to Unplugged with Geraldo. And boy, do we have a great show for you today. We have a celebrity from the movie Gotti, as well as tips on how to buy the right fitness equipment, plus ways to eat healthy and not sacrifice taste. But first, I have a special co-host. She has made a name for herself with her Dish It Girl brand, and some of you may recognize her from the e-reality show, Mary to Jonas. Welcome, Dina Delisa Gonsar. Hey. Hi, Dina. How are you? I'm so I'm happy good. to see you. No, it's great to be back here. So a lot has happened since I, I saw know. you. So I tell know. me a little bit about what's going on. Well, now I have a one-year-old, so mm -hmm. I officially have a toddler. Sienna, right? Yes, little Miss Sienna. Miss Sienna. Yes, so now I'm running around chasing her, but <laughs> I'm still doing a lot of recipes and mm -hmm. still doing a lot of work with different brands and content creation. So I'm a busy, busy mommy. Busy, busy mom, right? Busy, busy mommy. <laughs> oh, well, glad to see you again. All right, guys, so let's get to it. My first guest is best known for his acting roles in the hit movie, Analyze That, and the iconic TV series, The Sopranos. Joining us is actor William DeMeo, who recently appeared in the movie Gotti with John Travolta and also has a new TV show, The Neighborhood, as well as a clothing and accessory collection called My Brooklyn Brand. Wow. Welcome, <laughs> William DeMeo. Hey, William. Hi. Thanks for being on the show, man. How are you? I'm, I'm great. I'm so great. I love, <laughs> I love to be in Philly. Philly's a great city, so it's a pleasure to be here. Oh, thanks. So we have a lot to, to talk about, and I, you know, I, I'd be reminisced if I don't ask about John Travolta. So tell us a little about how I was working with John Travolta in the movie Gotti. Oh, it was amazing. I, I, like I always say, I was always a big fan of John. Yeah. Uh, growing up in Brooklyn and the iconic movie Saturday Night Fever, right. which we all... Oh my God, I love I mean, that movie. Yeah, I dress like that all the time, yeah, just the, to let you know. <laughs> Stay <all. laughs> you need to bring that back. I need to bring that back, right? <laughs> the Tony Monero character was, was a legend and... Growing up, I was such a big fan of the movie, mm -hmm. and to work with John, he's, he's iconic. Right. So many great movies from Pulp Fiction. Absolutely. Yeah, he just did so much great work, and and to watch him play John Gotti Sr., he, wow. he did an amazing job, and it was it was it was so great to work across from him. Sure, and cream come did true. You play in, um, I played Sammy the Bull. Wow, Sammy the Bull, Sammy the, wow. Bull. the traitor, right? The, the rat the character. That, the yeah, rat. The rat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You better watch it. You better watch it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it was an iconic role too, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. So definitely. tell me how about how was it to get ready for the part of Sammy the Bull? Well, you know, growing up in Brooklyn, mm. I knew a lot of people who, who knew Sammy and kind mm -hmm. of a little bit about what he was about. And then I had John Gotti Jr. on set giving me some oh, wow. pointers a little bit about Sammy. Wow. Mm. So I was able to get my feel towards what I, the vision for right. Sammy, which mm -hmm. was, you know, on the street, Sammy was, was a, you know, right there, a, a, a street dog, but then when you know, the, the turning point uh -huh. on, on the state on when he's talking in the courtroom right. was a whole different type of a, you of see him, you've seen him in a very different light than he was actually John's number two. And then the flip, he's, you know, absolutely snitching on him. So William, you were born in Brooklyn, right? Yes, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Nice. Tell us, tell us about what, what makes Brooklyn so special. Even now I hear it's, it's a very hot, you know, it's town yeah, right it's now, like so, right? Well, yeah. Up and coming well, town, well, right? right now, well, Brooklyn's, oh, right now, it's the hottest part in New York. Believe mm -hmm. it or not, everyone wants to live in Brooklyn because it's just so much. Manhattan became a little more touristy, believe it or not. Right. And, and yeah. Brooklyn is actually, like, considered, like, more of a cooler area to live. But I need to know, what is the best Italian restaurant? in Brooklyn? Like, where do I need well, to there, go? Well, I know there's a lot of arguments, so I need to know okay. from you, well, where well, am where? I going? Well, well, there's many, but there's a place that I go frequently in my neighborhood. It's called Ellen B. Spumoni Gardens. Yes, I was okay. going to wait. I was going to wait for you to yeah. say that, it. That place, that place, pizza, the Italian restaurant, Spumoni, right. I mean, it's amazing. Well, and there's a time. line around the block yeah. for pizza all the time. Wow. It's a great place, and the owners are very good friends of mine. I grew up right around there. I've shot some movies in mm -hmm. there it, it's great just Brooklyn you always kind of like like kind of the Tony Monero character right, right, like right. Brooklyn people like kind of feel like they have like an edge there's just yes. something about Brooklyn yes. that makes Absolutely. it so special and that's kind of why I started this Brooklyn brand clothing line mm -hmm. right Brooklyn brand yeah. right. because I, I feel like question. the the why I started that was because people in Brooklyn are very very proud okay. mm -hmm. and I always wherever I went would if I seen something that said Brooklyn on it, a shirt uh -huh. or a hat, I'd buy it right, right. away. 
Yes. And so many people do that. And as I started to be more successful in my career, if people asked right. me, can you wear my clothes for their, their clothing lines? Okay. And I said, you know what? Uh, I need to start my own. And I feel like Brooklyn brand, which I'm wearing right, right here. Beautiful. We're getting yeah. into the velours now. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. The people that wear, you feel like you're a brand of Brooklyn. So it's almost right. like you're not wearing like a logo. You're, you, you are you're the wearing, logo. Wearing, you're, you're representing you are the yes, Brooklyn, you're representing. right? Yes, you're representing Brooklyn. So like, and people in Brooklyn are very proud. And there's so Absolutely. many people from Brooklyn everywhere. And there's so many famous people that are from Brooklyn. We could go, the list goes right, on and right, on. on, and, on, on and, and you on, brought right? one back, right? That was, oh yeah. <laughs> you did. You brought one back. Yeah. Well, John is actually not from Brooklyn. He's right, from that's Jersey. Right. That's right. Oh, from Jersey. That's but right. I brought him right. back to the yep. pizzeria yep. where, where he, he said, give me two okay. slices give me for two Saturday slices. Feed. Right. But there's so many people that, that are from Brooklyn. We could go, the list goes on and on. So we got about a minute left, but I want you to tell me a little bit some of the projects you're working on right now, William. Yes, well, I have a TV series called The Neighborhood. Okay, cool. Which is very exciting. Uh, I have a, a new well-known producer who's part of our project now. Okay. His name is Michael Tadros. Oh, wow. And he's from Brooklyn. Uh -huh. And they've done some, him and his father are, are amazing producers. They've done movies like I Am Legend mm -hmm. and Ocean's Eleven, Ocean's Eight. Of course. Amazing. No, it's amazing. Love amazing. Love amazing. They did the movie Two Bids. They, they, they've done so much great stuff in it too phenomenal people right, and it's right, great right. to have them part. I felt like it was time to create a series that was kind of like, I feel like people miss The Sopranos. Yeah, they of course. Wanted it. Of so course. my shows about growing up in Brooklyn in the 80s. Right. People love shows that they could see their family in. <laughs> yeah. They yes. really love All right, William, listen, that. my man, thank you so much for being it's here. It's an honor and pleasure to meet you. you. Keep thank up the good work thank and you. I can't thank wait to you see guys. you great. soon. Great. Yeah. All right, guy. All right, guys, still to come, as a certified trainer, I am always asked, how do you know what gym and wellness equipment to buy? Well, I have some great tips right after the break.